Hello, everyone. My name is Gus. And hi, I'm Woody. <laughs> Today, we have an interesting video. This is actually a um, smaller video from the original. The original video I took, it was 40 minutes long. I made this one only 14 minutes, so I caught a lot of it. So if you're interested in the full video, link is below in the description. Every time we do a reaction, if the video is out there on YouTube, we link it on the description so you can watch it without hearing our commentary. Um, but anyway, this guy basically is a free diver. He spear fishes, free diving. Uh, one of his friends invited him to scuba dive, and he said, "Yo, I got I got certified seven years ago. I think I still remember how to do it." And he just threw a tank of air in his back, and he went down. Well, let's say a little bit deeper than he should have. This is another down. one of the wild worlds of zero training, and I'm going beyond my limits. <laughs> Let's get going. And What's see. going on? Ever since I started spearfishing seven years ago, I got scuba certified, but I never really followed up with it. I never really got into it. Um, but my buddy Carson is really experienced in the scuba stuff. Oh. He's done these really deeper dives. Yeah. So. And it was just a perfect opportunity to make this video. It doesn't get better than I'm that. I don't even know what you but I'm not really confident enough to do what we're doing in this video without someone else that's done it. So I don't even remember what year it was seven years ago. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what we're doing in this one. The idea of going down that deep on the rigs and really just having the time to check everything out and explore is mm. really exciting. So the time we go, You're, we're doing it. Here I, we go. I, I, First time ever going this deep. And you guys get to see it. Multitasking, first time ever. You know how we always advise, if you're going to do something for the first time, you should add more stuff? Is he on air? But I do want to say, yes. disclaimer, <laughs> like I said in the beginning, this can be very dangerous. Yes. I should get narked. Yes. Nitrogen narcosis when we get down really deep. Then why are you doing it? If you don't know it? what it is, pause the video. I'm going to put a caption up explaining it. Let's just. I'm just but let's that stop. why uh, you already know, <laughs> you've literally just said. Yeah. I'm, because he's with Carson. Everything was fine. It's I okay. Was just uh, I don't even a know. bit disoriented. I don't know what to say, down when we went really deep. <laughs> just do whatever. Thankfully, not to <laughs> the level. Do I, didn't I don't know what to say. Know what I needed to do and how to do it. <laughs> but that's why you have a dive, buddy. Oh, that's right. Just wanted to let you guys. I saw know that in the standards. The See how thing. close they are to each other. I don't need training because my dive buddy has but it. But everything so turned close out to each fine. Other. Once I got a little bit shallower, it started to go away, and oh. I didn't feel it at all mm. on the next dive. So that's cool. I think it was really just because I'd never done this, no, especially it's to called the science. extreme that we're doing it. You only get narked the first time. You know how the, all the books say so that. With that out of the way, we are getting down to depth <laughs> here. This deck is around 120 foot. Okay, that's good. Stop. Time to check everything out. Right now? By the way, it looks awesome to dive this appropriately. Right? Yeah. I, I love the dive. Oh, my. I cannot Notice wait to know where this really is so we can go. A whole lot going on. Visibility is unbelievable. It's fished and looks awesome. Dive quite a bit. Maybe it's the oil rig we dove. I don't think it looks that familiar. Is deeper. We'll go as deep as we're going. So we'll see. Yeah, they don't go as deep as you're going because they're not trained Here you to can go see that some deep. Of the 120. Look at that fish. thing on the on the right. Got a line squish, <laughs> rock hind grouper. Bam. There goes a creole Dude. fish, angel Bam. fish. And see ya. Nope, he's not killing them. He's I'm just poking like, at these line fish here. What are you doing? If you guys didn't know, they're actually invasive. Yes. And you're supposed to shoot them. But I came down with a slip tip spear. I do not know why I didn't come down with the metal tech. I guess I wanted that little bit of range in case I saw something that that metal tech couldn't reach. Okay, I don't I don't know what a metal tech is, but I can tell you that what he said about lionfish is true. They're invasive in the Atlantic Ocean. They're not in the Indian Ocean or wherever they're native. Or the Gulf. That's I think it's the Gulf of Mexico. They're Gulf in, right of Mexico. There. They're invasive too. Um, so, you know, in Florida, they have laws about what you can fish and what times and what's allowed, what's not allowed. Lionfish is free, free range, free license. You can, you know, 
spear them, shoot them, stab them, so, so let choke me, them to death. So let me Who pose can? a question to you. If you and I were on the way down and we saw those two, yeah, any chance you don't unleash on those? They will be dead Goners. by now. Easy. Yeah. And that's, that's a, the most painful thing about this video, I think, is the fact that he swims by the biggest lionfish ever. And he just lets them be. And continue. he's going deep. Please continue to wreck our, our reefs. And he's got, he's going way deeper. So there's I think there's going to be uh, a lot more. But look how the thing keeps going. Yeah, he's at 120 or whatever. And that no, thing is just... deep. That's a good 50 feet below. Look how far they are from each other. Here Terrible. the narc set in. Yeah. And here we are super deep. The deepest we go, got some amberjacks cruising around. Carson's talking about, and he keeps a big going. One, dude. Look, but I'm trying to tell him I'm narked. This I'm feeling cool. super weird. That's you. Don't think sure. he gets the idea, but we hit up a little bit shallower. Because really he's can't narked. Stay down <laughs> this deep for very long. You're both narked since you consume a lot more air. And I start to feel a little bit better back around that deck 120 but definitely not thinking the clearest uh, I like that he's saying this now I okay I'm a little bit more this is a good lesson he's like okay I don't I, I shouldn't be here I feel bad I'm going Got some up big amberjack and I guess I didn't mention it's actually not even season for amberjack See? yet alone would I even want to wrestle one like I said, I'm out to shoot smaller fish for dinner. Seems like a good guy, by the way. But something to consider, too, is that these bigger fish are a lot more dangerous to shoot down at depth because they can pull you down or up too fast. Wow. Wow. I had no good idea. Good point. Here really we've got a point. giant rock kind grouper I'm looking at. Why are you not shooting him? Some Spanish hogs swimming around. Pretty big ones. There's no way I could I wish look. he would just use the actual terminology, brown fish, blue fish. With the special bow and arrow tip he's got. Yeah. Metal tip. Look so at those! kind of swim no. around. More? Yes, there were for a three bit. huge ones. This thing's loaded with lionfish. Where is this thing? <sighs> we need to get on the rebreathers with helium and annihilate. We could stage tanks, by the way. So we could stay down longer. Oh yeah, we could stage. I tanks. would buy a submarine. Really just to kill no, easily you could stage all along this thing. There's a lot of. We could bring oxygen to a 20 breaths. feet. Normally, yeah. I wouldn't do that to conserve air, but I noticed you really have to this deep because of that pressure. I would love to set up a big time dive on this thing with yeah. stage tanks. All the way up, have a 50% at 70 feet. Big amber jack. 120. Yeah, but imagine what's 40. down there at 180, 190, 200. We'll go, uh, we'll go normoxy. All the way to the bottom, yeah. Have helium. Here, I kind of just make my Dude, way I, over I to this the bottom. cross beam. And We'd have like what's called a... Sit down. I was feeling... 1640 mix. So we would probably do like 16% oxygen, 40% helium. And that would... Our END, in other words, our equivalent narked depth, I'd have to look at it at 200 feet, would probably be even above 100. Yeah. We wouldn't feel like we're narked more than 100 feet. And yeah. we could stage gas, is what we're talking about, all up and down the rig, like put a 50% at 70 feet. So we have enough gas, if the rebreathers fail to bail out and go back up the rig, we have the gases staged on the rig all the way up to 20 feet, which is where most of the deco would be. And even have 100 percent oxygen there at 20 feet which you could breathe yeah so gas. for those for those of you who don't understand the you know these units are measured um what he's talking about diving down to 60 meters 60 plus meters and feeling like we're at 30. that's yeah. what you do by adding helium uh to the mix exactly a bit weird still so i decided to hang out looking outside the rig for stuff Is he gonna shoot something or? Enjoying 
getting to so spend far time from each other, dude. Down here, and one of them has really an emergency. And... Out. Yeah. I like what he's saying, though. He's just—he's like we're on a he's different a good guy. planet, like we're in space. Yeah, down he does here. Feel like that. It's cool. Yeah, he's just and enjoying really himself. Just epic because I've been wanting to do this. This guy wants to kill for so long. <laughs> you can tell. Here's a shot of the whole mix. You got a vermilion snapper there. Of course. The Vermilion. Spanish hogfish. Yep. There were some creoles. Portuguese hogfish. That angel fish. Oil riggish fish. <laughs> I give everything one more look. And then we start making our way up. Do our safety stops. I like this guy. You know, catch y'all at the surface. I mean, he shouldn't have gone to 170 feet, but All he's right, pretty well, we reasonable. Done our surface interval. Yeah. We went around to a couple new spots, fished a little bit. And now we're going to hop in at a deeper spot. I actually dove well, this winter for Wahoo. I just started liking you. So a big, big structure down below us. <laughs> It's a roller coaster with this guy. We've got two extra tanks. We're going to go down there and see what we see. Now, I'm actually not going to narrate this one. I'm just going to do captions. I thought the sound of the dive was really cool just to listen to. Dude, if you see a Pretty relaxing. Fish, kill it. So enjoy. Really, really cool one here. <laughs> Tie the boat to the this looks so awesome. platform. Yeah. Barracuda swimming by. Free diving fins on. Look at those big yeah. things. Well, he's a free diver, so he yeah. might not even own any other pair of fins. Yeah. Look at that. Let's go. Very cool filming. First person action over here. Yeah, it's good perspective. Yeah, dude, you're dropping fast. Boosh, 143. Okay. Yeah, you're dropping fast and you're already way below recreational depths. Yeah. So he's about 44 meters. On air, on one tank. On air, on one tank. With his body nowhere to be found. And no emergency gas stage nope. up that thing. No so pony really bottle, good. no nothing. He's gonna I think blow. He's gonna kill somebody. Uh oh! Right in the face, Woody style. No? Okay. Creole. Ah. Oh. Look at that thing. Try to get away. Yeah. Try and get away when you have a everything. Rope. How is that fish still Three. alive though? He's got a spear in his eye. It's Creole. They are a grouper species. Oh. Here comes his buddy. Deeper, way deeper than him, by the way. Well, now he's done, I guess. Okay, well, that's... He got... Knife in the brain is usually... It's good enough. ...kills things. <laughs> Reload. Boom. Look at that thing. He's just sitting. It's dead. 147. Boy, that. Look at that thing drop. That's at least 200. 144. I'm glad they have that level, man, because if this was open water. Bang! Wow, this guy's good. Is that Creole too? No, I think that's a, a, a yellow spine Portuguese grouper. Maybe Moroccan. Maybe. I'm gonna go like yellow spine area. snapper from that area. I think. Oh, 
Whatever it is, is definitely dead now. Oh, he's still, he's still moving. That guy's a zombie. Zombie a grouper. This guy hasn't killed anything. What are you doing? Oh, look, a lionfish. Oh, no. They're like, let's go. So. 143. I'm trying to see his no deco time. I think he says 20 or 3. I'm not sure. I think he was already in deco. So I think he said 3 minutes stop at 20. I don't know. But that should be a safety stop. Now. Yeah. That doesn't sound I right. I couldn't tell. Mm. What's he looking at? Big school of red snapper. Reload. <sighs> Look at this guy. He's a goner. Welcome to the jungle. By the way, this guy's lethal with the spear. He's badass. That's our moving snapper. Yeah. Hello. And I think you get your brain stabbed now. You did. Got some great eats this dive. By the way, I caught it off the original video, but he did say that he was grabbing whatever he was eating. So he wasn't trophy killing or anything like that. He's a good guy. So I'm, I'm cool with that. He's just a little too deep, but he's a good guy. Yeah. Now he just has to take us there. Dude, whoever you are, I would love to go with you. But only to depths that you're certified to. Yeah. He hasn't cut the brain yet. Stab him in the head. Do the humane thing. Spanish hog and a Creole taste test. At the Spanish end of the hogs. Yeah, it was close. I said Portuguese. I knew it was around that area. I'm very familiar well, with it. Because you speak their language. Right, right. That's right. <laughs> that was looking pretty good. Dang, big fish. Uh huh. Fire an SMB with a fish. Well, that's Make it good. easy they're, for the sharks. You know? they're, de <laughs> they're delayed, I guess. So, no, Much yeah, longer, so. I'm sure. Competitive dive. Oh, that's so awesome. One hour dive. One hour dive sounds like a lot to be a hundred and forty for a while, don't you think? I they're in they were in deco. Let's face it, they, they were in deco. Went My challenge beyond. with this dive is not so much that they went deep, although that that is a problem. But the fact that in order for them to do a one hour dive, they had to be pretty low in gas. I think at the end, and the challenge is is like imagine when it's time to go up the first stage of one of the two fails. How are they going to have now enough time? First of all, they were super far away from each other. But if they were close by, how can the two of them breathe whatever is left and go through that deco that we know they went into all the way to the surface? No way. They would have drowned. It just it's gets dangerous. back to it's all good because nothing went wrong, right? But if something did go wrong for any one of them, then that could have been the end of them. So we have to be critical. But I really like these guys. Isn't that weird? I really <laughs> He's such a cool guy and he's really calm. And I love yeah. that he's like, I don't even want to talk. I just want you to hear the sound of the dive. And he's a great shot. So a little tweaking. And this guy could be a really good, fun person to really dive with. Yeah. And, you know, it's not so hard for him to get certified to go to the depths that he wants to go to. It's hard to hold to, – to, to like the guy when he left so many lionfish down there. Like, every time I saw one of those, I'm like... We would have been screaming. Kill him. We would have been screaming. Immediately. I'll buy you dinner. Kill the lionfish. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what are you doing? But think how many are on that thing. At You know that thing's 200 feet deep. You he saw. left them for us. Yeah, at the bottom. This thing must there be... There could be 100. It looks like Times Square down there with lionfish. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we would just unload. <laughs> it would be amazing. And once again, Woody mentioned several times the fact that we did dive at a oil rig. 
the fact that we kill lionfish. Oh, and in case you haven't seen that video, it's not a very popular video of us, by the way. A lot of people why. haven't it seen it. It's a blast. I'm going to leave it right here. Was Sonia with us? Check it out. Sonia She's was She's like there. a murderer of lionfish. <laughs> She's a savage. She's amazing. She was our instructor. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. We got lionfish killer certified. <laughs> I right. forgot about that. That's right. Yeah. I'm before a, I'm, a, I'm a patty lionfish murdering before, certified diver. Before you judge us, we are certified. So we're doing the humane thing. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.